Hi guys, it's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I just have a quick masculine read for you. It is December 16th, 2018. It was all about the tower today. And as I said in my other videos today, um, I woke up uh, hearing something big crashing down. So that was definitely the energy coming into today. The Divine Masculine read was done at 5.33 p.m. today. Uh, the Major Arcana were the uh, Hanging Man, and this is the Syrian Starseed deck. The Hanging Man, the Lovers, Reflection, Karma, Star, and Ascension. So a lot of Major Arcana. That's the Hangman, Lovers, Hermit, Judgment Card, Star, and Ascension is the World. There was one sword, two pentacles, two cups, and no wands, which is unusual. Maybe not for Sunday, but unusual for the masculine. And then uh, the only court card was the Knight of Cups coming up, which was in his own position, how he sees himself. The numbers that came up were one, the ace, just the one came up, and one, two, two, and eight, nine, ten. Begin again. Han Solo came up in the coding, and actually Delaware and Rhode Island were coming up, as well as the, the ace of pentacles, a new life, and maybe a ride to a new life in Delaware, but Delaware came up twice. That was weird. DE came up. Um, also might be Harry for some, or Henri, or Henry might be for some, a message for someone. Yeah. And also, um, I put in the codes real quickly. And one of the things that came up was uh, one of them, Congratulations, Odyssey of the Mind Members, which was a group of problem solvers. That was cool. And then Ace of Base, All That She Wants, live. 1993 was Michael Jackson and Britney Spears duo. And then The Way You Make Me Feel came up. And Han Solo, Jabba's favorite decoration, came up. So for the Divine Masculine, Uh, for the Divine Masculine, the is that the beginning? Yep. The underlying energy starts with the uh, it was the hangman, but it starts out with the King of Pentacles losing money or not working, possibly losing his status, but hanging out possibly with a right re a right knee injury or a right knee block. The King of Cups may be his sunshine right now, exposing him to light. And then I was getting the sun will come out tomorrow, okay? And when I went to write the sun will come out tomorrow, spirit made me write some. And then I was getting so me day. Instead of someday, so me day. The sun will come out tomorrow or the sun someday. <laughs> the sun will come out someday. but it was about so me day, emphasizing you to focus on yourself. The world of dolls across the bridge to God. Okay, so I don't know if somebody has daughters who are into dolls, but that was definitely coming up, or just someone who calls women dolls, right? The world of dolls across the bridge to God, um, sticking it to the suffering in a nine-two split blind decision and no reception so it sounded like a game but I'm not familiar with what it was but these are just the downloads I was getting so again sticking it to the suffering in a nine to two split a blind decision no reception and tight end was coming up as well suffering or soft suffering on a stick like literally calling something suffering on a stick with a TV antenna loose ends tied up gift wrapped for our divine feminine for commitment or truth the truth is is that he's like a TV antenna to God but worried about being wise uh, with their energy and his anger issues or your anger issues no affection and defenseless with hap happy family in quotes um, that will have to let go in order to repair things the underlying energy for the masculine was healing family issues, and beneath that was past life relationship. And healing family issues has a lot to do with your parents. So not only with your kids, but your parents. And I was getting energies of breakups of, 
uh, divine mass and divine feminines, parents, or someone is in the hospital or injured, or there's a breakup. The divine masculine is out. Or the divine masculine is taking out a queen of pentacles to either beg her to come back or taking out or flirting with another person and be now begging the queen of pentacles for forgiveness about that. And this could be an empress energy or this empress could definitely be coming up as a mother or a mother-in-law. Like, or, or his mother or mother-in-law is controlling the situation in physical separation. Or he could be having air sex or casual sex at home while separated from his twin. The queen of pentacles, queen of swords, and empress were all energies coming up here. The, the empress definitely could be a mother or mother-in-law or could be a boss as well. Um, healing was underlying energy for the masculine as well as beneath that was perseverance. So persevering your healing, okay? The Knight of Wands has been spying, drained, or sick, sitting in uncomfortable emotions. The Wounded Warrior holding back the truth, but no longer conflicted or fighting. Hanging out after a fight it has been exposed and drained or sick of it with an injured knee, suffering in silence in a cover-up, possibly a payoff to family. That the sham fam is just a cover for work. A mother stressing him out while a father is healing or a masculine who has a wife, a work mistress, and a twin. So recently, bored and over isolating with a right knee issue and no conflict or karma, so letting karma go, called to open the lotus or their crown. So the masculine feeling their call to action. The foundation is about the hermit, either up at night with an empress reversed, maybe a sick father or a father who's just out of control right now, or up at night himself out of control, seeing the light and maybe losing ego. Centrally, the energy here is all about the lovers. The king of wands reversed with the empress who's being foolish. Okay, and the king of wands reversed can just be exhausted or it could be pissed. And if the king of wands reversed is the emperor, he's definitely pissed because they were both reversed. Um, out of control, but with the empress as being foolish. She was upright, but being foolish. So foolish actions or just lacking faith. The lover may be stalking butts in a silent movie nightmare of Superman forcing his rescue efforts on women who don't want to be saved. The challenge for the masculine is the magician who may be happy about a slowdown at work or for business in order to get a new life started. Getting away from kids for a break hiking or, or in the mountains, a mountain retreat, maybe with a friend, or offering love at work. And I was getting roughing it. And also Rhode Island and Delaware were coming up here again. So now the Knight of Swords sending messages, maybe sending a message in a bottle, or announcements are out. Time running out for full moon codes to the safe, to get the full moon codes to the safe. Okay, so something, there's this, a safe was definitely coming up, so whether someone's hiding something or, um, or just wanting to keep something safe, that was definitely coming up. But not, somebody not working and, not, and their house falling apart for the masculine, or a sudden event of overworking and destined for justice in a bold move forward without conflict, without fighting. Libra and Cancer energies were coming up here as not fighting anymore destined passionate movement um, at the full moon in cancer which is coming up the 22nd or 23rd i'm not sure which day it is a romantic tie with the king of pentacles behind the emperor's back so this definitely could be a karmic having an affair um, and they are friends so this karmic affair is with the masculine's friend or maybe a sibling even or she got pregnant up the mountains or offering love at work and it's not the masculine's child or the emperor was caught with his pants down with a third party, with a friend who offered love at work um, and getting his wish. Soon the energies are coming up about family detox or it's just a queen of wands reversed, totally out of control in a jealous rage at work, standing up to cancer militant on the war path. So this is the mask and standing up to this cancer queen of wands could, could be Leo energy as well on the warpath in chaos. 
he is seeing himself as the Knight of Cups, which is the one offering love with children and possibly a Delaware home. Trapped with limited funds. The energies coming up were let friends help. So for the masculine, they let your friends help you and very soon, okay? Around the divine masculine or how the divine masculine may be seen by others is Batman walking away and the footprints are left in the sand. And that's been referencing lately when, you know, Jesus was there holding you, when you were saying, where were you when I needed you? I was holding you, right? So, but these, but synchronicities are coming up everywhere for the masculines, orchestrating a mystery prize of a soulmate who sees him eye to eye, even when they're dead tired. So someone is not going to give him a hard time, even when they're dead tired. Clearing blocks of dreams, stardom, Egypt, singing, night sky, healing, stalking, negative self-talk, ADD or ADHD issues, working too hard, not walking away, and verbal abuse. These are all things coming up for the masculine to clear. The card that came up for the numerology deck was all about manifestation very strongly. Walking away from his, walking away from work, his lover, his work could be his lover, also could be walking away from a, ki a kitchen that was built together. A king of swords with third party lurking makes a bold move, world in right hand, so the masculine side, with the queen of swords talking and holding onto savings tightly, satisfied alone, and celebrating with friends. The world is complete. Maybe a Leo may be out of control at work, having tantrums on the warpath, swearing revenge. Maybe wants to, to run a scam for money to get revenge. This is this Leo uh, cancer energy I was getting. Also, King of Swords may be getting his wish of a split and patience with six rays shining down on him. Over the loss of a scam or imbalance, so the masculine may have already been scammed out of money, but now over this loss, um, or imbalance of harsh words that are always coming at him. Fighting is over now with the Queen of Pentacles reversed, who is someone who's a woman who's just greedy, you know, it's all about her and her money, or it could be someone who's just ungrounded. Um, but now standing strong, now he's standing strong in his truth to this person. Hanging out alone, emotionally walking away from karma to lover and new life of legacy and dreams come true with 5D messages and the world at your fingertips. Getting your wish of light. Six rays. Okay, so that was the message for the masculine. I'm going to pull you a couple quick cards from the Ascension deck. Take a deep breath, everyone. Okay, clear and align, clear and align, clear and align. I'm just going to do the Ascension deck and then I'll do the Rider Waite to give you one last card. For the Divine Masculine, um, what is the advice for everyone today, this uh, December 16 of 2018, for the best and highest good of all those concerned? What do they need to know? And two cards were coming out right away. Twelve chakras is number one. One came up as your number in the codes today. The twelve chakras. Maybe you need to learn about your twelve chakras. The affirmation for the underlying energy is I awaken my twelve fifth dimensional chakras. The cards that came out for you guys are Pleiades, which is number 16, perfect, the day today, which is also the tower energy. 16 is a seven, which is very spiritual of the mind and mind-heart connection. It's the six of the motherly love on the inside and the masculine focus, drive, and selfishness, that leadership ability on the outside. Um, and the second card that came out was the sun, which is number 10, which is the wheel of fortune. It's all about a turn for the better. It's source energy behind the one, the magician. Okay, so the Pleiades says, the, Ple the Pleiadians are great healers. They love earth and all who live on her. By drawing this card, you're being invited to open your heart to Pleiadian healing. Let them enfold you in their loving, healing blue light so that their wisdom and gifts flow into you. When you've absorbed these qualities into your energy fields, pass them on to others. Remember that the animals who come from the Pleiades, the sheep, pandas, and pigs, heal people and the land. Bless them and honor their work on our planet. And the affirmation is, I open my heart to love and healing from the Pleiades. And definitely the land and wide open fields were coming up a lot today. Um, for the sun, the sun is the navel chakra of this universe, the navel chakra. It radiates the divine masculine principles onto us. 
Choosing this card suggests that the universe is calling on you to develop your qualities of decisive action, protecting, protecting the vulnerable, rational thinking, courage, and strength. Invoke the sun in order to light up your aura and fill you with renewed enthusiasm for life. This energy will enable you to help everyone feel welcome and empowered, which is an important ascension quality. Your guidance is to fill your aura with brilliant golden light and be true to yourself and act decisively today. The affirmation is, I radiate golden light and take decisive action today, which is really important coming through for the masculine. But you have that with the sun, which is the number 10, 1, which are all about the masculine energy. Okay. Then for the uh, rider weight, we'll pull a couple quick cards. Take another deep breath. <sighs> Clear and align. Clear and align. Clear and align. Okay, so for the Divine Masculine, for the highest and best good of all those watching and listening, in all directions of time, space, matter, and realities, for the highest good of all those concerned, what is the message? Okay, so a couple cards fell out here. And the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, and underneath her is the Angel. So this is beautiful because this is about the angels in their sovereignty. Okay? When you found satisfaction on your own, um, in your own beautiful surroundings, you know, satisfied on your own, finding your sovereignty as an angel. So this is a big step forward for the masculines. Okay, that's the underlying energy. The cards that came out, uh, beautiful. Got the uh, Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords reversed, and then the Six of Pentacles, which is really beautiful, okay? So this is all about getting out of your head or getting out of a mental prison or a physical prison, okay? Or someone had you trapped and you've gotten out of that. But look at the, the financial end of this. Is, it doesn't have to be financial. Pentacles are all about practical life, okay? So it's about money, energy, time, all of those things. But here we have the Queen of Pentacles who has it all together, you know? She has everything that she needs. And then you have the energy of sharing in an equal relationship, all right? So sh this is teaching and learning, sharing, um, equitable distribution, so maybe you worked out a, uh, a payout if you're s divorcing from someone and now everyone's at peace and you're out of your head. But it could de it's definitely positive energy, whether it's with your karmic or with your feminine. It's very positive coming up. And then one card further came out for you guys, which is the Two of Wands, which represents the Twin Flames. It's about having the world in the palm of your hands and choosing a new path with the world at your feet. Okay? So really positive messages for you guys today. Make sure to drink your water, take your hikes, the ground. Open up your crown. Rise and be loved, guys. Bye.